All right, Shalom Boys here. Oh, well, back at it again, uh, working on this foot for the client. And as you see, I've been able to put in all of the floors. Now I've got to put in the doors. And, you know, I was talking to a brother, and I've been seeing a lot of brothers that uh, are doing contracting work, uh, are entering the carpentry business, because as we know, there is a nationwide shortage of carpenters. And so, you know, especially if you're moving and you want to find work, you know, like I said before, you know, I come from a corporate environment of implementing software systems. And I knew that, you know, not necessarily I would be able to do that out in the country. But now, you know, with this whole COVID thing and with the virtual, you know, uh, the jobs that I could get now back in corporate America, uh, project managing implementation systems uh, and installs for clients like Ceridian, ADP, PeopleSoft. Uh, these are the big HRS companies that I could work for. Well over $100,000 a year I could be making if I was still in corporate America. But, you know, I decided to lead that life because I got tired of all of the stress that came with it. In addition to that, I don't want to live in the city. In addition to that, the scriptures clearly says to come out of her, my people. Uh, so that's what I did. But the idea that um, you can't make serious money uh, working uh, as a carpenter, listen here, you can easily make uh, $10,000 a month doing carpentry work. You know how I know this? Number one, I've, I've made $10,000 in a month and I've posted it um, uh, several times on Facebook. But in addition to that, I know carpenters personally that they'll do two or three big projects in a year and then take the rest of the year up because uh, the majority of these carpenters they uh, uh, own land and they built their own homes or whatever. So, you know, they're not pressed for all of the work because this is hard work. And this is the reason why a lot of people are not interested in going to the carpentry business because it is hard work. And if you're not used to hard work, you got to be physically fit in order to do this kind of work. So the idea is that this is why everybody want to be Bitcoin millionaires and Bitcoin millionaires and, you know, and uh, 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 all of this stuff that, you know, you really ain't got to do no physical work in order to develop wealth. But all of that stuff is going away. Uh, because when your dollar ain't worth nothing, then what? When the, the computers don't work, then what? Th then what do you do? How do you feed yourself? How do you uh, uh, provide the, the, uh, the real resources that the money is not going to be able to purchase? How, you, how do you do that? And see, this is what is not being talked about. But just to give you a perfect example, right? I still got to finish this house right here. All of the plumbing work still has to be done, which I'll be doing. Um, uh, uh, there's some siding work and some outside work that needs to be doing. Uh, I have to build a deck off this back porch. And then, you see that house right there? Right there. That entire house that needs to be done. I'm going to make at least twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars in that house alone. Sheetrock, flooring, the roof needs to be redone, the plumbing really needs to be done, the kitchen cabinets, the bathrooms, all of that stuff needs to be done, and I'm doing the work. You see, and so the key is: uh, can you make ten thousand dollars? Can you make a good living doing carpentry work? Yes, you can. How do I know? I've done it before. I'm doing it now, and I know other people that have done it. The key is to develop that client base that you need and to get your name out there. So when I first started doing carpentry work out here, you know, I used to charge uh, 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 for a kitchen remodel, a bathroom remodel, a couple of thousand dollars. But now I can get to charge the full five to eight thousand dollars for per kitchen or bathroom remodel due to the simple fact that I've made a name for myself and I have a reputation for doing good work and people know who I am. Now, they know I do good work, so therefore they're willing to hire me and pay the money. See, I got customers now, I'm months out in terms of projects. Now, I got customers that, hey, they don't want to let me go. You know what I'm saying? This one particular client, which is, uh, 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 as, Ke as Kevin Samuel says, he's a high value Client, and this is where I want to pee in dealing with high value men and making them clients. See, that is the push. That is the push right there because this guy is making 
bank every month. You know what I'm saying? He's making well over ten thousand dollars every month. He owns twenty eight houses as a brother. You know what I'm saying? He owns about twenty eight thirty houses. Just now bought a half million dollar home in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. So the idea is that you can do this. You can make this. But the idea is that you got to be willing to get out there and get it done. So can you make good money? Of course you can. Is there a market for it? Of course there is. But you got to be willing to put in the work. What do we say over and over again? The harvest is plenty, but the labor is our few. Do good work. Look at that. All throughout the house. Got to put in all of these doors now. How long do you think it's going to take me to put in all of these doors? About a half hour a door, but I charge them $100 a door to put it in. Boom. In, out, done deal. Off to the next project. And I got three projects going. I got to start a bathroom remodel next week. And then I got to go out of town. And then I gotta come back and I gotta do another bathroom remodel. And then I gotta come here at the same time, do all of this work. And then at the same time, after this, go over here and start on another house. And that's not even including all of the other small projects that I need to get done. You gotta be willing to put in the work.